Now, every year, more than 1.3 million people die across the world as a result of road traffic crashes. There are many different causes, but the World Health Organization says distraction caused by mobile phones is a growing concern. This week, the world's first camera capable of catching drivers using phones has gone live at two roadside camera locations in Sydney. The cameras use artificial intelligence and can take photos that penetrate through windshields in all weather conditions. During a month-long test phase, they caught more than 11,000 drivers using mobile phones illegally. One man was captured using his phone with both hands while his passenger steered the car. Remarkable stuff. She, the passenger was steering the car at speeds of around 80 kilometers an hour. Well, Alexander Janink joins me now from Melbourne. He developed the technology after being personally affected by road trauma. He's the managing director of a company called AccuSensus. So let's get down to basics here. Is your camera truly now going to scare the bejesus out of every Australian driver? Because it can see through windscreens. It can know exactly what everybody is doing. Good to be with you. Um, and the camera system can detect any driver who is illegally using a mobile phone while they're behind the wheel uh, in any weather condition and any vehicle speed. Uh, and so we really hope that the deployment of these of this camera technology can um, provide a, an effective deterrent uh, against drivers using their phone while they're driving and reduce the prevalence of that and uh, reduce the consequent road trauma that comes from this um, very dangerous act. Alexander, in, in the testing of this, and obviously you've, you've been running it for a while just to see how well it works, what kind of crazy stupid stuff are Australian drivers doing routinely? I, we see quite a high prevalence of drivers illegally using a mobile phone. I mean, at any given time across our road network, about 3% of drivers will be touching a phone illegally. And these 3% have a vastly increased risk of crashing uh, and uh, causing injury on our roads. And I think something that really surprised me from the testing that we've done throughout Australia is the prevalence of people driving with two hands on their mobile phone, uh, roughly 5% of, yeah. of drivers right. have two hands it, on the phone. It is extraordinary. Just briefly, uh, is public opinion on your side? Some people think these roadside cameras are sneaky, but what's Australian public opinion say about your new sort of extra special cameras? Well, these cameras are really being um, implemented to look at a, an unaddressed cause of road trauma and what we've seen to date has been a very um, strong positive public reaction towards enforcing this. I think it's quite widespread uh, in the community, it's quite a widespread opinion that um, driving while using a mobile phone is exceptionally dangerous and that you shouldn't do it. And something um, to really note about the cameras that we've designed is that they operate for vehicles at high speeds. And All right. so these cameras are detecting the drivers yeah. who are in motion and who are at most risk of causing injury. Alexander, we've got to leave it there. Thanks for joining me from Melbourne. That's it from this edition of GMT. You can reach me on Twitter. I'm at Stephen Sacker. And do stay with us here, BBC World.